I'm AJ Jacobs, and you are watching Mr. Media. Is that what you want? Today on Mr. Media, I'll talk to actor Matthew Ziff, star of two upcoming features, Treachery and Six Gun Savior. He'll also be an invited guest at this year's Sunscreen Film Festival, April 18th to 21st, right here in downtown St. Petersburg, Florida. Stick around. For such a good-looking fella, he sure does get himself in some ugly situations. So much media, so little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is the Mr. Media Interview. The show is brought to you today by Amazon.com, the world's greatest store for everything from books and movies to computers, TVs, and even my favorite soft drink, Pepsi Wild Cherry. Thinking about buying something online from Amazon or just want to do a little window shopping? You can save yourself a lot of money and help support Mr. Media, that's me, by clicking on one of the Amazon ads at MrMedia.com and start your shopping with us. Get yourself the new iPad or Kindle Fire. Feeling a little racy today? Amazon's got what you need to feel exciting and new, as they used to sing on The Love Boat. Remember, start your next shopping trip from the comfort of your own home, car, hotel, or office with Amazon.com at MRmedia.com. That's right, MrMedia.com. And folks, thanks for your support. Mr. Media is recorded live before a studio audience of handsome young men with drive and ambition, but who couldn't make two and two add up to four in the new new media capital of the world, St. Petersburg, Florida. Usually, I like to see a film in its entirety before inviting an actor to be a guest on Mr. Media. But I'm told that Treachery, an explosive new family drama starring Matthew Ziff and Michael Bean, is still being put together in post-production in anticipation of its test screening at this year's Sunscreen Film Festival, April 18th to 21st in downtown St. Petersburg, Florida. So, because I want to help arrange because I want to help raise awareness of our local festival, I'm going to talk to Ziff a little blind here. Now, the trailer looks pretty dramatic, though, so we're going on faith that the film will match up. Because don't they always? All right, a few interesting facts about Matthew Ziff. He's been modeling professionally since he was two months old. He attends the University of Miami as I did for my freshman year, but he is going to graduate from there in just the next couple of weeks. As a matter of fact, when he gets to St. Petersburg, he may either have that diploma in hand or maybe days away. We'll see. We'll find out. He also has, I don't, I don't understand this at all, but 1.6 million followers on his verified Twitter account. Maybe we'll find out about that. And get this, this is big. In July 2012, he represented the USA in the International Quidditch Association Summer Games during the Olympic torch relay in England, where Team USA won the gold medal. So he's got that going for him, folks. Now, there will be an exclusive test screening of Treachery at this year's Sunscreen Film Festival, followed by a Q&A session with the cast and crew. And before the movie, there will also be a screening of a Ziff short, Speed Demon. The event is Saturday, April 20th at 6 p.m. at Movie Co. Baywalk, and that, again, is downtown St. Petersburg. Matthew Ziff, welcome to Mr. Media. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Glad to have you here. Uh, so, uh, Matthew, uh, since I didn't get to see Treachery ahead of our conversation, uh, I thought maybe we could just spend some time here, you know, talking some shit about Quidditch. What do you think? Sounds good to me. All right. How does one get started playing Quidditch, and where do you buy your broom? Okay. Um, I started here at University of Miami uh, my freshman year when our team started. And I've been playing for three, three and a half years now. And it's really taken off uh, in the last several years. I mean, it started in, back in 2005 in, at Middlebury College in Vermont. And since then, it's exploded. It, they started with two teams, and now there's almost a thousand or over a thousand worldwide. 
So it's really grown exponentially. Um, we're actually having the World Cup coming up next weekend in Kissimmee, Florida. And there's going to be 80 teams, the top 80 teams from all around the world. Even There's uh, teams from Mexico, Australia, Canada, the U.S., um, U.K., and France. Wow. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's getting pretty cool now. All right, so people who've seen the Harry Potter movies know what Quidditch is. In the movies, people are flying on their brooms. Uh, <laughs> how does this play out in the real world? How do, you, how do you actually play this game? Well, Quidditch is sort of a cross between like a rugby and a dodgeball. So the, the one big thing is, though, instead of flying, you're actually running with a bird. So it, it's, a little, it's a little silly looking at first, and it takes a healthy dose of not taking yourself too seriously, but it is really fun. Uh, it's complicated, it's exciting, it's fast-paced, it's absurd, and it's awesome all at the same time. <laughs> and, and how do you keep from chafing on your broom? Practice? Practice. Do you, <laughs> I mean, do you actually use a broom? I guess that's the... Yeah, yeah. Um, we actually... For the World Cup, we're going to be using uh, brooms that are handmade by a company called Alavans. Uh, they're, they're a Florida-based company. Uh, I don't remember the exact location off the top of my head, but you can find them on, on the web. Uh, and they're the official brooms of the International Quidditch Association. And they're handcrafted. I actually have one. Um, they're, they're pretty cool, though. All right. Now, I think I had actually heard, I think that Ringling College of Art over in Sarasota, Florida, that they had a team also. They have a team. Uh, they they're a pretty good team. Uh, we just played them actually a couple weeks ago when we went to we went, all the Florida teams went up to Georgia uh, for the Southern Regional Tournament, at which Miami won. And we played Ringling. They did a great job. Um, a lot of my really good friends are over there huh. and play on the team. So here's what I really need to know. Seriously speaking, you're in a bar. You see someone that you're attracted to. <laughs> How long before you tell them you play Quidditch? Depends on the person. If they seem pretty cool and like they'd be into that kind of stuff, pretty much right away. Hmm. If not, maybe wait a couple days, but it's usually it's usually pretty quick. Interesting. People people will find that out pretty quickly about me because it's such a big part of my life, like aside from acting and it's it's really fun. And if people don't really like that, then that's their loss. Well, you've been a very good sport about the Quidditch questions, so I will move on now. And uh, I'm sure we will attract a, a whole different crew of people who will be interested in, in you for Quidditch and, and won't even be aware that you're in the movies. Um, <laughs> so, you know, all right, so let's talk about the movies. Uh, how did you get involved in, uh, in this film, Treachery? Well, the film Treachery uh, was last year, so two years ago. Yeah, about two years ago now, I met uh, Michael Dean and his wife, Jennifer, uh, at a film festival. Both of them are great people, by the way. Really, really good people. Um, and Michael and I hit it off, and we were talking. He said, hey, I'm writing a film right now. or I'm, Well, my friend is writing a film right now, and I'm going to star in it, and we'd like you to read for it when, when the time comes. So it's, it's uh, written and directed by a guy named uh, Travis Romero, who was one of the co-creators of White Collar. So he's a really great writer. Great. Comes up with fantastic stories. So I met met with all of them, read for it, audition, all that, and they really liked me. So I got the part, and the rest is history. That's great. I was just thinking, uh, White Collar is uh, Matt, um, oh, I can't think of his last name. I think it's, I, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but Bomer. Matt Bomer, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, and he was on uh, Chuck before that. Yeah, he's, he's been on the show here. That's why I just set off oh. an alarm. I went, oh, yeah, Matt Bomer, sure. He, he was, uh, interestingly, he was up for Superman at one point. Interesting. So, uh, wow. So, uh, you know, Romero. Now, is this is Travis Romero any relation to George Romero? I am not sure. Don't know who George Romero is, do you? No, I don't know the answer to the question. Uh, oh, okay. Do you know who George Romero is? Is that a yes? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Just te- you know, <laughs> just checking. Um, so, what is your, who is your character in this movie? And, and maybe you want to explain a little bit about what the story is about because it's it's a fairly intense looking film. Yeah, it's a pretty intense film, um, but it's a really great film. I think it came out really well. Um, my character's name is Nathan, and I play um, Henry's son. Henry's played by Michael Dean. And it's a, it's a really cool story, and basically everybody, this, this family, and we're, we're sort of have a difficult relationship. So we go to 
this house and we're going there for, for our friend's wedding and all, all of us are there and there's a bunch of people. Um, Sarah Butler plays Cecilia, she plays my girlfriend, she's a fantastic actress uh, from I Spit on Your Grave and, um, and some, really, some really great uh, actors and actresses. Jennifer obviously is amazing as well as being the producer. Uh, she does a great job. Michael's amazing. Caitlin Keats, who was in Kill Bill, and a whole bunch of other really good stuff. Um, Richard Gunn, I think he's on Dark Angel, I think it's called. And uh, uh, Chris Myers, who's a good actor, really great actor. So we've got a, a good a good group of people. Um, and basically, it's we get we go to this house, and a storm hits. And it's the night before a wedding, a storm hits, and we're all trapped pretty much in this house and the the film shows the story of everybody's interactions and how tensions rise and people start yelling and fighting and it's a really cool story lots of lots of twists and turns so you're I'm really excited for people to see it from what i gathered from the uh, trailer uh, if i understood this right now it goes by very quick but your uh your character's girlfriend is kind of at the center of some of the stress in this movie right yeah, it sort of, it sort of revolves around the relationship between uh, Nathan and Henry, in regards to life and Nathan's girlfriend Cecilia. And uh, so Nathan has this great line in the trailer. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do know what you're talking about. And, and you can you can use the language here. So I, I wonder if I could because it's in the trailer. It's not a secret. Uh, to the story, but I wonder if you could deliver that line here uh, with some emotion because I think it'll get pe- get across to people uh, what the film is, the basis of the film is. Do you mind? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Please. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Ziff. Oh, man, you're putting me on the spot now. <laughs> okay. Did you fuck my girlfriend? That no, wasn't me. Che- check with your dad. <laughs> so, that was great. Very well done. Very well done. From that line, you kind of get the get the interaction. <laughs> Find that out pretty quickly, um, but without giving too much away. It leads into a big climactic fight, and it's pretty. It's it's a pretty intense, uh, very emotional scene. So. Yeah, I like I you know, I it was like, okay, we're going along and I'm thinking, okay, this looks like an interesting movie. And then there's that line from you. It's like, "Whoa, okay, it was that it's that direct." I thought, "Whoa, okay, you know, who's not going to want to see that?" Yeah, it, it builds up pretty quickly. So. <laughs> now, it's a pretty good trailer. That's why I said, you know, I mean, what what, you know, hopefully the trailer matches up to the movie because the I think the trailer's does. got a lot of emotion in it. Yeah. Yeah. I think the movie well does it very well. So, I'm really excited. And was this, uh, I mean, you're, uh, I think I did the math. You're 22? Yeah. Okay. You just had a birthday, right? About two weeks ago. Yeah. Happy just, birthday. Uh, just a couple days ago. A uh, couple weeks ago, yeah. Yeah. The 24th. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, happy birthday. And uh, is this, uh, uh, is it, was this role somewhat different than the things that you've played before? Yes and no. Um, the... Sleeping with the ex, with the girlfriend was obviously different, but it was he. The character was a very real guy. He's just sort of a, a down to earth kid, and he's just trying to trying to get through life and be as happy as possible, and really just avoid as much stress as he can with his dad. But he just is he's just kind of stubborn. So his dad always has this like aspiration for him to be this big lawyer and or. Uh, a doctor, a lawyer, what, something really big, and he just, he just, he doesn't want to do that. He's just not for him. So that sort of fuels their anger and their um, arguments, and then it just turns into so much more. So. And uh, you uh, tell me about working with Michael Bean in that, you know, you go from you, this relationship off camera where he wants you on this film and, and friendly, and and then suddenly you're in these scenes, which I think we've 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 built up to it pretty well in terms of people understand it's not a happy relationship <laughs> so you've got this guy who you like and who likes you you know that off screen but I mean you're 22 years old sometimes I, I think it, it, it'd be a little hard to separate this guy this old bastard not, you know who's screaming at you and probably getting physical I'm, I'm guessing 
from the guy who we know likes you, right? Yeah. It's it's pretty interesting, but that, that comes with acting and just with practice and experience. But it, it was really it's really pretty funny because I've seen some of the bloopers. Um, and some of the stuff is just will go from big huge fight to just laughing. Mm. And it's 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 pretty interesting, but I think a lot of people uh, depending on what film you do, I think a lot of people have different experiences with being able to do that. And I think Michael's just such an amazing actor that it's just like, you're here or you're here. And he doesn't mix them together. And I think I've learned a lot from him, just from working with him from that. And it's, it's, it's pretty interesting once you're able to do that. And I think I've, I think I've got that down pretty well. All right. One of the other things that's interesting about the film is uh, there's, a, there's another Ziff... Uh, in the credits, uh, Lorraine, your mom. Uh, tell me about yeah. tell me about that. And, and I understand it's, it's not the first time you two have worked together. No, uh, my mom uh, is also an actress, and she's some voiceovers. And she, yeah, she's got a, a small part at the end of the film. Uh, really interesting, interesting scene. I don't want to give that away because that is actually a, another twist. All that stuff. Um, so that's pretty cool. But no, I've I've gotten to work with her. Uh, on a couple things actually, and most recently is a film called Six Gun Savior, which I know you mentioned earlier, and which we're actually producing um, together, and we are in it. It's a very ensemble cast, uh, and she has a very she's a great artist, doing a fantastic job. We're almost done filming it. We got a, I think it's like six six more days of filming, and then that's going to be done, and it's going to be fantastic. So. Is that weird for the rest of the cast and the crew to, to work with a you know mother and son? I don't know. Um, I don't think so. If it is, they haven't said anything, but I hope not. <laughs> you know, they're all doing this. They're all talking behind your back. You know that, right? Happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it, I mean, uh, you know, how does it happen? Which one of you was acting first, I guess I need to know. Well, she was actually in college, and she was a... Uh, uh, theater major, and my parents actually met. My dad did some acting when he was young, when he was my age. So he, they actually met on the set of uh, Muppets Take Manhattan <laughs> way back when. They were really? both they were both in one of the opening scenes of that. So that's that's where they met. And while neither of them have really been in the uh, business, like my dad, my dad doesn't, um, and my mom has done some. She's more recently started up again, but. When she was taking care of my brother and I, she didn't at all. So I guess it's sort of she was acting first, but then when I started to get more serious with it, she started to jump back into it too. So I guess it's, I guess that sort of works, right? Yeah, I mean, it, was, it was interesting, you know, reading a little about her as well, that she had gone to law school and had a paralegal business going, yeah. and, and then suddenly she and her son are acting together. It's just like, wow, okay. It's really nice to have the support of my family because – that's one of the things with acting, and I know every actor out there will say the same thing of, oh, I wish, I wish it was my family's more supportive of this, but I've been so lucky to have, like with my mom being involved and my dad just being, loving everything we do, I just, I feel so lucky and so grateful that I've had such a supportive family uh, and that I've been able to act with my mom and side by side. It's pretty funny. It's, it's cool, though. Yeah. Well, your dad, uh, we were talking about this before we started, your, your dad had shot me a, an email message before we went on and was saying, oh, he's, you know, he's... Uh, he, does all this, does all that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, you know, he's, uh, he just was racing at, uh, at Charlotte's Motor Speedway, where I've been, by the way, it's a very cool place. And uh, he's got his, his collection of bass guitars, and, you know, he says, he's the complete, he's the complete kit, this kid. You know, it's like, you know, that's great. Very supportive, and I love him for it. He's really, really supportive. So uh, let's talk about Six Gun Savior for a second. So it's wrapping up. There is a, uh, a trailer online for that as well, which is very cool looking. It's a supernatural, uh, supernatural uh, western. Uh, western, right? Um, that looks very cool. I think it's really cool. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. Uh, we've had such a great time working on it. Uh, the producers... Uh, Frank Zanka is a really great guy, writer, director, and Frank and Kirk is the director. They co-wrote the film. Um, they've done. They're doing such a great job. We got some really great people in there. Eric Roberts plays the devil. Fantastic actor. Good, good family friend. Um, we got some really great. Some really other 
some great other actors in there. Uh, Blaine, Kaleo, Michelle, Adam, everybody's done a great job. Maya. Um, and we're really lucky to, to have, have such a supportive place. Like we've been, we've been filming at uh, Melody Ranch and they're, they're really cool people over there. They've done so many Westerns and just the history behind that place is ridiculous. So, and Shereko Ranch also we've been filming out to beautiful, beautiful, wide open, wide open, like rolling hills and all that. So very cool. Well, uh, just a couple of quick questions. We'll let you go. Uh, what is it you've been studying in Miami with graduation weeks weeks away at this point? Engineering, actually. Engineering. Wow, sure, I would have guessed that. Uh, <laughs> uh, will that will that go on hold for a little while while you pursue acting? Or are you going to you going to go to grad school at this point? What are you doing? Um, I was accepted into grad school here at UM. Oh. Uh, I'm thinking about doing it. It's an accelerated program, so it'd just be two more semesters. So I'm thinking about doing that. Um, wait, but, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I don't think I want an engineer who gets his degree from an accelerated program. It's engineering, for God's sakes. It keeps the planes in the air, you know? It keeps the roads from falling down. Stuff. Well, it's I do. I would do more stuff at once. Instead of taking three classes a semester, I'd take five. So it's just you do it. You just do more. Quicker. All right. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll have faith in you. You seem like a nice kid, but... You know, remember, we're counting on you engineers to keep the planes in the air. Just remember oh, that. But no, acting acting's really a really big part of my life and that's really a big focus mm. of mine and I really love it. So very cool. And I gotta ask you, one point six million Twitter followers, is that more due to Quidditch or to uh, movies? What's, what's a little bit of both. Yeah? It's a little bit of both. Um, I've definitely had a lot of a lot of help from Quidditch. The Quidditch world is amazing, and if you're not familiar with it, anybody who sees this, you have to check it out because it's one of those things. It's such an accepting group, and just on every level, like it's even on my time, my team here at UM, we have engineers, we have neuroscience majors, we have bio, biochem, we have political science, history, English, theater, art, communications, every type of major person that you can have all together. Athletes, non-athletes, um, it's it's just such an amazing community, and the people that are running it up on the top, Alex Benefi, uh, Alicia, they're great people, and all the board, uh, all the management, everybody's doing such a great job, and it's picked up and it's exploded. Now it's the World Cup. If you're in the area, you gotta come by because it's gonna be pretty amazing. Very cool. Is there a website for? Uh there is, yeah. It's uh, international. You can put into Google International Quidditch Association. I think it's internationalquidditch.com okay. uh, um, or internationalquidditchassociation.com. But the World Cup website is worldcupquidditch.com. And that you can definitely check it out. And you can see all the links you need to see from there, send you in every which direction. So well, we're really excited. It's, it's coming up next uh, Friday and Saturday. Uh, Saturday, sorry, Saturday and Sunday. That uh, is uh, April 13th and 14th. Yep. Okay. In City, Florida, and go to worldcupquidditch.com. You can get tickets. Uh, if you do happen to buy a ticket, maybe put in the little who referred you thing. Maybe put Miami. Just why not, right? All right. All right. <laughs> Got to give a little plug. Well, I think what you need to do, thinking about your future now, I think you need to figure out a way to combine your, your love of Quidditch with your study of engineering and in the next couple of years figure out a way to make it so you guys can do it like in the movie and be flying around and not just be running that around cool. you know I that mean pretty cool. you know you you want to be more like the the characters in Harry Potter with the with the brooms rather than the characters in a Monty Python movie with uh, you know fake fake horses you know galloping about so one of the really good things about Quidditch is that it's evolved past the point of Harry Potter. Like, you don't need to be a Harry Potter fan to love Quidditch. I mean, I personally am, but I know a lot of people that are really not that into Quidditch. Or not, sorry, not that into Harry Potter, but love Quidditch, and it's their whole world. So, it's one of those things that's really evolved into its own entity, as also on top of being from Harry Potter. So, definitely check it out. It's really a pretty amazing thing. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, folks, listen. Watch for Treachery, uh, starring Matthew Ziff and Michael Bean, in film festivals uh, probably around the country in the months to come and eventually in a theater near you. And don't miss the exclusive test screening at the Sunscreen Film Festival in downtown St. Petersburg, Florida, on Saturday, April 20th at 6 p.m. 
followed by a Q&A session with the cast and crew. And as I mentioned earlier, before the movie, there will also be a screening of a Matthew Ziff short called Speed Demon. And by the way, that, that falls in the middle of the festival. The festival is actually April 18th to 21st. So, uh, you know, come to St. Pete, spend the weekend. We've got some lovely hotels, it's by the water, it's all that good place. stuff. I'm sorry? It's a fun place. It is a fun place. It's a very fun place. And as for you, young man, uh, MatthewZiff.com, right? Are you on, uh, well, I know that you're on Twitter as well. Matthew Ziff on Twitter, uh, Matthew Ziff on Facebook. Um, I think there's a Tumblr page, official Matthew Ziff, things like that, all over the place. Very good. So, well, I got one more thing, though. Yeah. I, you mentioned combining uh, engineering and Quidditch. I've actually combined acting and Quidditch. So, yeah, I know. You Interesting. See, you can think about it. But uh, I was cast in a pilot. Um, and the show, it's called The Trouble with Billy, and it stars Billy McNamara, who's a great guy, great actor, uh, and he's doing some pretty amazing things with Animal Rescue. So I don't want to give too much away about it, but I play the character of Warren, who is a Quidditch player. Uh-huh. So look, look for some news on that. There should be some stuff coming up. Uh, I heard something on the DL that's pretty exciting, so right. we're, we're happy about that. Well, very, uh, good luck with that. Uh, don't let it get in the way of your studies, young man. I won't. All right. <laughs> and uh, Matthew Ziff, uh, wonderful to meet you. Uh, good luck with your, your career, and uh, thank you for being on Mr. Media today. Thank you for having me. You can see and hear almost a 1,000 Mr. Media interviews by visiting our main site, mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com, or check out the more than 200 video interviews on the Mr. Media radio site on YouTube. And I'd sure appreciate if you'd show some love for Mr. Media's advertisers, including Stitcher. Apple named Stitcher a top five news app of 2011. It's a free mobile app for your smartphone or tablet that lets you listen to your favorite shows and discover the best of news, entertainment, and sports on demand. You can listen whenever you want to, to more than 5,000 shows, get customized recommendations, and discover what your friends are listening to. My own list of Stitcher favorites is pretty eclectic. I start my day with an hour of MSNBC's Morning Joe with Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski. Then it's the latest two-minute update from the Onion News Network. After that, I'll listen to WTF with Mark Marin, Here's the Thing with Alec Baldwin, HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher, and excerpts from E's Chelsea Lately and The Soup with Joel McHale. Also in regular rotation on my Stitcher playlist, The BS Report with ESPN's Bill Simmons, the TechCrunch Headlines, and the Don Geronimo Show. The latest episodes of each show, whether originating from broadcasts, cable TV, radio syndication, or podcasts, are continuously updated. Stitcher is a free app for your iPhone, iPad, Kindle, Fire, BlackBerry, Droid, and more. And show your support of Mr. Media by getting, did I mention it's free? The app at stitcher.com slash mrmedia. That's stitcher.com slash mrmedia. Stitcher Smart Radio, the smarter way to listen to radio. We're also supported by Audible. Check out Audible's 30-day trial membership and download the audiobook version of the book everyone's been talking about, Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. Sign up for your free trial today at audible.com slash radio. Again, audibletrial.com slash radio. And finally, if you need a disc jockey for a wedding, bar mitzvah, corporate event, or just a big old party, please consider calling 1-800-DIAL-DJs, the party authority, for all your party entertainment needs. You can call 1-800-DIAL-DJs or go to their website, 1-800-DIAL-DJs.com, and tell them Mr. Media sent you. And thanks for listening. Today's episode of Mr. Media Interviews is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. You know GoDaddy.com from their wild and sexy commercials, but isn't it time you actually test drove their web hosting and domain registration services yourself? 
For a limited time, Mr. Media listeners can save 10% on the already low price of web hosting services at GoDaddy.com by entering the promo code POD4 at checkout. Again, that's 10% off web hosting when you go to GoDaddy.com and enter the promo code POD4, that's P-O-D, the number 4, at checkout.